Two and one on the show yesterday. Yet again, morning wager rolls on. Swept the double play. Baseball's been kind to us. Eh, that prop, not so much in the NFL, but we'll see what we can do about that today. A couple more looks in Major League Baseball. We don't want to forget about the national pastime. Plus, there's a lot of football to talk about. We'll be hitting NFL in college later in the show, including a best bet. But Mark Zinno, you are going to start the program by doing something uh, you enjoy doing, and that is ranting about the Atlanta Braves. And you'll actually be betting against them on Friday as we head into the weekend. I can't think of two teams I'd like to bet on less than the Atlanta Braves and the Toronto Blue Jays. So uh, starting this Friday with not a smile on my face for a variety of reasons, including the way things went down last night. That's a whole different conversation. Um, But I think we get a favorable spot here uh, in the first five innings with Toronto and Atlanta. Um, you can't keep Toronto's bullpen on anything, so because they're terrible. But Kevin Gosman, who starts for the Blue Jays, has been quantifiably better on the road this year at home. In fact, his ERA on the road is three runs lower than it is at home this year. That's enough for me to back him against an offense that, frankly, doesn't hit the ball very well. And Gosman, over his last five starts, has a 2.20 ERA, and opposing hitters are batting 179 against him. This is a Braves offense that, as we know, couldn't score in a whorehouse with a fistful of hundreds. So uh, I like the spot here. I'll take the half run, despite the fact that it's Max Fried. Look, I expect this thing to probably stay under in the first five. Uh, What are we looking at here for the total? Yeah, it's it's low. It's it's seven and a half or eights popping up. But I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to take the Blue Jays with the half run in the first five and hope that they can get to Max Fried. Um, Toronto doesn't necessarily stink against lefties per se, but they're not exactly great either. So, you know, we're, we're, we're living in this world where, uh, you know, you kind of have to hope for them to get a little bit lucky um, when it comes to facing Max Freed. But still, uh, I'll take the half run here in the first five and hope it's a pitcher's duel. Blue Jays, first five, run line from Mark Zeno. Smash that like button if you're in agreement with him and you like to fade your hometown team as well. I am going to be looking. Well, okay. Well, where you? And yes, and I, I, I'm sure we don't want to get you started on them and Aaron Boone and the bullpen. Um, by the way, I have a play out on the afternoon game Yankees Cubs today. If you want to head over to wt.buzz/bp, uh, I'm going to talk about two teams in my uh, kind of, uh, I guess, division. I live here in Cleveland, of course. Two teams in the AL Central are the Twins and Royals. They are fighting with the Guardians for first place in the AL Central. A very interesting three-horse race that we're going to have over the final month of the season, Mark. I like the Royals' money line here. I told you before the show, I love the spot here. Last time we saw KC, they it's an anti, or it's a swagger spot, I should say. They snapped the seven-game losing skid on Wednesday here at home. They beat the Guardians four to one. KC off yesterday. Meanwhile, Minnesota, they were wrapping up a tough series in Tampa Bay. If you caught this show yesterday, Roy. Rays, or pardon me, Twins. I'm all over the place today, Mark. Twins first five. That was a winner on the show. Yes, that was my half of the double play. You tried to jinx it and say that I should not lay the half the run. It turned out that was very smart. Here's why I want to fade Minnesota today in this game. Offensive numbers for Kansas City. Mark, we know this. They go way up at Kauffman Stadium. And Cole Reagans is the starter on Friday. He's the one star. I say this all the time when I talk about Kansas City. Cole Reagans is the one star of this rotation I like. I don't like Brady Singer. I don't like Seth Lugo. I don't like Michael Lorenzen. But I like the lefty Reagans. And he's held Minnesota to three runs or less all three times he's faced them in 2024. Meanwhile, on the mound for Minnesota today, it's your good buddy Zebby Matthews. Old Zebby, he got tagged for nine runs in two innings his last time out. That was against Toronto. Toronto, you mentioned how sometimes they can struggle with the plate. Because the Royals' shaky bullpen, Mark, I was tempted to cut this game in half, maybe lay a half run again, but I am not going to do that. I am confident in my handicap. I am going to take Kansas City, full game, money line, should be a big win in the AL Central race for the home team. So that is KC money line to go along with Blue Jays' first five run line as our double play today. Yeah, um, interestingly enough, uh, the, the baseball board tonight is probably better than most nights what, from what I've seen. I mean, you know, we're trying to turn the page to football here, but uh, you go Don't up and down the card. Baseball. 
I know. There's there's a lot of opportunities here tonight. I mean, I'm going to have two plays uh, in Major League Baseball tonight. I'm probably going to end up passing on the NFL game just because uh, we're going to get into it here in a little bit. I just don't like the way things are developing for both sides. But, uh, yeah, still a lot of good baseball left. Yep, we will be talking about that NFL game in just a little bit. But first, a reminder, three-day all-access pass is still discounted to $49 at wagertalk.com. That is a $20 savings. And if you get on board today, what a time it is to get on board. You're not only going to get Friday's plays, you'll get Saturday college football, Sunday NFL from your favorite Wager Talk candy camper, all for just $49. Uh, it was a good night for me yesterday, 2-0. and We got very nothing like a sweat. In the first half, first half under 23 and a half for me was a winner. I don't, I, I know, I, I don't want to do this, Mark, okay? But they pay me to do it. All right. It was a first half winner, 23 and a half. I'm four and the last two days, 16, seven and one the last 13 days. So we roll on, head on over to wt.buzz slash BP for all of my winners this weekend. We're going to have uh, the college card up later this afternoon and the NFL card up later this afternoon as well. It looks like you're chopping at the bit, sir. I have no bit. I have no chomp. I went 0-2. Oh, okay. I got screwed. So I hate life. Yeah. It, 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 okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Let me tell you something. How about, give, how about giving this show a like? Let's turn Mark Zeno's frown upside down, everybody. Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Get, right. Okay. Comment section. Tell me why I suck. No, no, don't do that. That's not good. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. All right. You know what is healthy? I mean, you know what? You know I, what I, I live in a world of reality. I live in a world of truth. I live in a world okay. where I truth to power or whatever that stupid phrase is whatever that means i suck it sounds intelligent so pissed about last night it's just not i still not i still like you and mark zeno going to turn it around this weekend I so just, go, just, go over to his page i want everybody to know um that zay flowers next week is probably going to have three catches for 274 yards because that would him be getting three the very long catches that that, that would be uh those would be big that, that, there'd be a lot of yak last night uh, 53 yards last night uh, should have gone way over with 10 targets, six receptions, and it did not. So I'm not happy. Let's talk. Let's talk about some college football because there's two games on Friday. Uh, week two gets rolling here, Mark, uh, with a couple well, games. You got, SN- you got yeah, SMU. <laughs> oh no! Let's, oh no! Let's turn it around. Should I? Should I tell everybody about last week too? Okay. No, we don't need to do that. We're looking forward. Tunnel vision, Mark Zinno. Tunnel vision. We're looking ahead on the battlefield. Isn't that what they always tell you? I, I, I don't know. I was never up there. But SMU, BYU, not a game we're going to talk about. I have nothing there. But Duke and Northwestern, this is going to be our show best bet. We're going to play a game, Mark Zinno, okay? Let, let's just pull, peel back the curtain and tell people how we got here, okay? And now that I started to look at it, this couldn't be more <laughs> classic, okay? I, I told Brian I know. Power, I just not having on. a good time Hold out. On. Time out. Watch. Time Watch. out. No, Watch. we're gonna play a game. We're gonna play a game. Okay, for our show best bet. It's called "Is Brian Power on s- Insane or Is This Just Very On Brand?" Because our best bet is gonna be Duke Northwestern over thirty-seven and a half. Do these two offenses absolutely stink? Yes, they do. Do I have a lot of statistical evidence that suggests these two offenses are both going to do well in the same game? No, I don't. But can I tell you that scoring 38 points in a college football game in the year of our Lord 2024 is not hard? That's the handicap here. That's your best bet over Duke Northwestern, 37 and a half. So, again, I'll peel back the curtain. I told BP this morning, I was still pissed about last night, and I said to him, we were going over the show notes, and I said, you just picked the best bet. I don't have the tolerance for this this morning. I'm still sour about last night. And lo and behold, he didn't tell me what it was. And then he, he, yes, he, I he, did. Put, it in, he put it in our group chat uh, and looked at and I looked at it, and then I pulled down the game, and I looked at it, uh, and I went, this is so disgustingly Brian Power that these two offenses last week, by the way, who Northwestern scored 13 points against FCS opponent Miami of Ohio. They're not an FCS uh, school. That's okay. yeah, they're, they're yes, in the back. Right. Elon, okay. Good looking Duke women at Miami of Ohio, by the way. I know. Uh, you, you would know. Uh, Duke <laughs> last week only scored 26 points. So these two offenses only combined to score 39 points last week against yeah. teams that are nowhere even in the same echelon of talent that they're facing, and Brian Power turns around for the best bet and decides to make this the show best bet. It's the last time I will ever let you have free reign on a show best bet. 
So, uh, I yeah, I mean, I just uh, people blame me you. if it was wrong, blame me because I did not have my head in the game this morning. Can, can I tell you something? I knew you weren't paying attention, and that's why I snuck it in. I, I, I love this play. I absolutely love over Duke Northwestern is it's really my best bet. What we're going to call it the show best bet here yeah. oh, on I, a I, Friday. I, I, I totally it. it's, it's like in the movie Boomerang where Eddie Murphy lets the other guy make the commercial and then he makes the commercial that everybody's offended by. You know, you give you give a guy free reign. That's this is what happens. So this is what, what happens. could go you wrong. Free <laughs> what could go wrong? I mean, 38 points else, in 2024. The comment section telling us what idiots we are. I mean, we are the most popular show on this channel, so there is that. I've I've noticed the more, like, disgusting plays I give out uh, on on these videos, and the people are just like, what are you thinking? Those ones always do well. Um, Let's talk about the NFL game, shall we? Um, I know that you don't want to talk. Okay, I know you were going to say that. I didn't even want to uh, throw that to you, but we're going to talk about it, okay? Green Bay and Philadelphia. Full disclosure, you talk about peeling back the curtain. My only bet in this game is tied to last night. I had Baltimore in a teaser, guys. Obviously, that got home because they only lost by seven. I have that second leg of the teaser is Green Bay. I teased them up to plus eight. This is the way I look. I think these are two even teams. I I know that you feel the love for Jordan Love and Green Bay has gotten a little carried away. I think the love for the Eagles in the market's gotten a little carried away. Now, I'm on record saying they're going to win the NFC East this year, but I have these two teams power rated dead even. So if I, I mean, could get more than one score with one, if I could tease the Eagles to plus eight, which I can't, I would have done that. But it, it's just a case. These are two even teams. At the end of last year, Mark, Green Bay was a better team than Philadelphia. Has Philadelphia made improvements in the offseason? Absolutely they have. But Green Bay has too. I know you you think that they gave Jordan Love a bag too quickly. But here's what no one's talking about. I hate when people say no one's talking about it because I'm sure Some people have talked about it, but not enough people are talking about this in uh, the frozen tundra. They 86 Joe Barry, their DC, who stunk. Green Bay's defense was so bad last year, and it was all scheme uh, from Joe Barry. So Green Bay's defense is going to be a lot better this year. Watch out for that, Uh, even if you don't think the love improvement over the second half is real. So... Again, if you could, if you if you didn't get that on my teaser last night with Baltimore and Green Bay, and you want to find something on Sunday to tease with Green Bay, I say get on with your bad self. But that's what I got: Green Bay and a teaser tonight. Look, I, I will say I'll have no play on this game. Why? Because there's way too much public money on Philadelphia, and I'm just not a believer yet in Green Bay. I'm not saying they won't be good. I'm not saying Jordan Love won't be good. I just don't have any empirical data that leads me to believe um, that they are they are a team that can win this game. Um, I think Philadelphia is the better team. I think they're a better coach team. Um, and from that standpoint, you know, I think they also have the better quarterback, but obviously some people disagree on that. Um, now they have Saquon Barkley in a running game. I, I don't know. I just, to me, it's, I'm not willing to step in front of, um, not willing to step in front of Philadelphia at this point in time, but with too much of the public on it, I can't, I can't endorse the play. So uh, this will be a pass tonight for me. For the record, LaFleur, the Green Bay coach, but great as an underdog in his career. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, so oh good. Uh, DJ, what do you think of that one? Um, we uh, He's not that good. Hell you just- that was a Chris Berman impression. I kind of blew it in the middle of it. I, I don't know. I, I screwed up. I, I was trying to remember the stat, and I screwed the whole thing up. Whatever. I like Green Listen, Bay in a teaser. I think these, I think these could be two division winners. Leave the impressions yes. to me. Your ex expected ERA boy, ex FIP, and everything else. Win regression, run regression, positive regression, whatever it is. I'll just take Duke Northwestern overs. <laughs> I know you will. I, yeah. I'll point this out, by the way, too. You, you can attest to this. Last night, I ref- you were calling me right before the half, and I refused to pick up the phone until the clock went to triple zero because I, I did not want to like be on the phone for that. Okay, hold on. We're going to bring this full circle here. Okay. So I never celebrate a win until it's over. Last year, Green Bay and Dallas in the wild card round. Green Bay went down and scored on the opening possession. What did I text you? I said, this game is over. Green Bay has advanced. And they did. I, I, I think so. I, I, I like Jordan Love. I think, he, I think those are two even teams, both of which can win their divisions here in 2024. So I wanted a teaser. Uh, okay, Philadelphia may win and cover this game, but like Kansas City did last night, but I like the teaser. So that's going to do it. For the morning wager here on Friday, 
We hope you all have a good weekend. Again, best way to get involved is that three-day all-access pass for $49. Mark says he's going to have two plays here in Major League Baseball on Friday. I'm on Yankees-Cubs. That's a day game. So hopefully you're listening early. have a chance to get that on that. My complete football card will be out later today. Guys, I think that's a wrap. Check out the Power Five. Cheap plug. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.